There's news, there's sense and there's nuisance. This show is all about that last bit. Now, this week on Indian TV News, size really mattered. Maldiv ka size itna hai. Itna bada. Koi haisiyat bhi nahi hai. Move over Pakistan. We have a new Jani Dushman in town. Itna sa Maldives is the new enemy. Dunia ke bade bade neta Modi ke aage piche lage rehte hai. Lekin Sunni Muslim Bahul Maldiv ko Modi se nafrat kyo hai? Maldives back foot par hai aur Maldives par Bharat ka sakht action bhi hua hai. Maldives ki sarkar अब पूरी तरह से बैकफुट पर आ गई एंड यू लेफ्ट लिबरल सिक्युलर न्यूज लॉन्ड्री टाइप्स ज्यादा मॉलडीव को सपोर्ट करने की जरूरत मत करना अदरवाइज यू नो वॉट कमिंग गो टू मॉलडीव डाइट है रिंग ऑफ गो टू पाकिस्तान बिकॉज एवरी वन आई थिंक डज वॉन्ट गो टू मॉलडीव बट डू नॉट गो टू मॉलडीव हैश टैग बॉयकॉट मॉलडीव एंड ऑफकोर्स लाइक दिस वीडियो गाइज प्लीज लाइक इट तुम्हें मोदी जी की बीच फोटोशूट की कसम लाइक दिस वीडियो नाउ मोर आउटरीच लोग मालदीव पर हंस रहे हैं कि अरे ऐसा चुन्नू सा देश ऐसा चुन्नू सा देश चुन्नू सा तो देश है लगभग सुशांत की अकल के बराबर लोग कहे कटेगा कैंसिलेशन चार्ज तो कटेगा पहले उसका मालदीव का कटना जरूरी टाइम्स नाउ नव भारत कौन से नुक्कड़ से उठाकर लाए हुए इस टपोरी को पों 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 पों। मालदीव जैसा छोटा सा देश इतना चुन्नू सा तो है यार भारत को आंख दिखाई ये सोचकर भी हंसी आती हंसी तो हमें आती थी टीवी न्यूज की बकवास देख के अब बस रोना आता है लेकिन इतने से देश को लेके इतनी बड़ी कंट्रोवर्सी हुई कैसे द होल थिंग स्टार्टेड व्हेन आर डियर प्राइम मिनिस्टर विजिटेड लक्ष्मीदीप ही वॉक्ट अराउंड द बीचेस डिड सम स्नॉकलिंग सैट एंड गेज इन टू दाइजन यूर राइट मजा नहीं आया Let's listen to RSS describe the scene. Prime Minister Modi's decision to spend a morning on the powdery white sands of Lakshadweep or then glide gracefully over its coral reefs has triggered a diplomatic incident with the Maldives. Glide gracefully. Powdery white sands. PM gliding gracefully over its coral reefs. RSS you could have said gliding gracefully like a gazelle for more effect. That, by the way, is not a teenage boy seeing Pamela Anderson for the first time on Baywatch. It's RSS seeing his dear leader on a beach for the first time. फिर क्या हुआ RSS? PM was gliding gracefully. Then what happened? These ministers of the realm in the Maldives basically turned blue in the face. Ministers in the realm of Maldives turned blue in the face. Oh, भाई सस्ते शशि थरूर. You can simply say ministers in the Maldivian government made derogatory remarks against the prime minister and India instead of using words like realm of Maldives blue in the face. What RSS lacks in journalistic substance, he tries to make up with his really awkward sounding Angrezi. ये तो फरेब होता है सर, फरेब. We'll get back to that and RSS's sad attempt at sounding smart. But first, back to outrage. Now, after visiting Lakshadweep, PM Modi tweeted saying, "Mitro, I had a great time. This was great fun." That's it. That's literally all he said. Then a few right-wing Indian trolls were like, "Bernal now Maldives, Bernal do." Jalan to bahut ho rahi hogi aapko. Bernal bijwao. Dekha kya maze kar rahe hain hamare PM Lakshmi Pme. Thenga do Maldives. And it wasn't just the right-wing trolls on Twitter. Look at how a section of the Indian media overreacted to Modi's tweet. Did PM Modi just checkmate an increasingly hostile Maldives? एक देश को सबक सिखाने के लिए इस बार खुद प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी ने मोर्चा संभाल लिया है मालदीव को मिली गद्दारी की सजा इस बार मोदी ने किया हमला द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स पुश फॉर लक्षद्वीप एज एन आईलैंड डेस्टिनेशन अमंग ट्रेवलर्स कुड ऑल्सो बी सीन एज अ काउंटर टू इंडिया नेबर द मोलडीव Which is a popular beach destination among Indians. और अगर भारत चाले तो मालदीव की इकोनॉमी घुटनों पर आ जाएगी. ये तो अभी शुरुआत है. This was Blackpool Sinha before the whole controversy erupted. पीएम मोदी की लक्षद्वीप वाली जो फोटो आई है, उससे चीन और मालदीव दोनों के कैसे तोते उड़े? मोदी ने तोते उड़ा दिए ट्वीट करके. Remember, please remember that this show was recorded before the Maldives minister had said anything. अभी तक कुछ हुआ ही नहीं था, and this guy was like, तोते उड़ गए. ये तो अभी शुर यानी नरेंद्र मोदी ने मैसेज दिया है बॉस भारत से टेढ़ा मत होना नहीं तो हमको सीधा करना आता है मोदी ने मैसेज दे दिया बस बीच में चल के 
दैट इज द राइट विंग ट्रोल मेंटेलिटी दैट हैज टेकन ओवर इंडियन टीवी न्यूज अब बस ये काफी नहीं है कि आप लक्षदीप की बात करो उसकी तारीफ करो उसके पोटेंशियल के बारे में बात करो हमेशा कोई और चाहिए हमें नीचा दिखाने के लिए इट शुड ऑलवेज बी इंडिया वर्सेस समथिंग नहीं तो मजा नहीं आया नरेंद्र मोदी छुट्टी मना नहीं रहे भारत विरोधियों की छुट्टी कर रहे देखा मोदी ने क्या ट्वीट करके मॉलडीव को सबक सिखाया राइट विंग ट्रोल्स और टाइम्स नाउ नव भारत जैसे चैनल में कोई फर्क नहीं है सो द इंडियन मीडिया एंड द इंडियन ट्रोल इको सिस्टम क्रिएट्स दिस लक्षद्वीप वर्सेज मॉलडीव नैरेटिव माहौल ये लोग खराब करते हैं फिर क्या है भाई ट्रोल्स इंडिया में तो है नहीं मॉलडीव में भी हैं सो दे ऑल्सो जम्प्ट इन एंड देन मॉलडीवियन मिनिस्टर्स जम्प्ट इन एंड दैट इज वेर आई थिंक द मॉलडीवियन गवर्नमेंट रियली स्क्रूड अप इट्स वन थिंग फॉर ट्रोल्स टू साउंड लाइक ट्रोल्स और न्यूज एंकर्स टू साउंड लाइक दिस बट इट्स क्वाइट एन अदर थिंग फॉर पीपल इन पावर टू बिहेव लाइक ट्रोल्स Three Maldivian junior ministers said some pretty atrocious racist stuff. The move is great. However, the idea of competing with us is delusional. How can they provide the service we offer? How can they be so clean? The permanent smell in the rooms will be the biggest downfall. Thankfully, they've been suspended indefinitely and the Maldivian government distanced itself from their words. But jung abhi chhid chuki thi. मॉलडीव को तो अब हम सबक सिखा के रहेंगे पूरी की पूरी इंडियन मीडिया जुट गई हैश टैग बॉयकॉट मॉलडीव वॉज द फ्लेवर ऑफ द वीक आई वॉज प्लानिंग टू सेलिब्रेट माई बर्थडे नेक्स्ट मंथ इन मॉलडीव नॉट एनी मोर आई वॉन्ट वेट वेट वाओ वाओ इंडीट शर्लिन चोपड़ा इज नॉट गोइंग टू सेलिब्रेट हर बर्थडे इन मॉलडीव घोर अपमान मॉलडीव का Sherlin, you've taken the difficult decision to not have your birthday in Maldives. Difficult decision to not celebrate your birthday in Maldives. Now there are a lot of difficult things people have gone through this week. Having your house bulldozed in the bitter Delhi cold, protesting for your rights and no one listening, waiting for the court to declare if the men who raped you and killed your child should be set free or not. How difficult was this decision is something I'd expect news anchors to ask Bilkis Banu on her approaching the Supreme Court. But here we are and this is prime time news. Sherlin, how difficult was it for you to cancel your birthday party in Maldives? Won't wow. wait. Now lots of Bollywood celebs took to Twitter and expressed support for Lakshadweep and our dear leader. Some even tweeted pictures of Maldives and Bora Bora Islands while supporting Lakshadweep. But somehow, Shivarur only managed to get Shailen Chopra and Poonam Pandey as his expert panelists on the issue. Obviously, I'm not doing my shoots there. That's for sure. And we have such beautiful islands, you know, Lakshadweep. And हमारे पास इतना सब कुछ अच्छा है तो हम क्यों जाएं वहाँ पे वैसे भी तो यहीं पे करते हैं ना अपना काम. Soft pawn से लेके soft power तक. Poonam for the win. What did you think of those ministers and the way they were speaking on social media? What did you think of those ministers, Poonam? and producers can you have bikini pictures in full frame while i talk about this very important diplomatic issue ek taraf pm modi taking a walk dusri taraf poonam ki bikini shoot kya scene hai wah wow, kya scene hai shiv be honest now do you follow poonam's only fans account cuz what you said next just gave it away hopefully people will see you in lakshadweep and say hey look if poonam pandey can go there and do this you know complicated shoot with so many moving parts complicated shoot with so many moving parts many moving parts look we're not <laughs> we're not trying to shame poonam here she has every right to do what she does and make money the way she wants to it's a free world but what the is wrong with news channels she's most famous for posing in the nude and putting up sex tapes Maybe, just maybe, she's not the right person to have on panel about a diplomatic row with Maldives. It's like having this guy as a foreign affairs expert. Oh wait, that also happened this week. On Maldives MP's post on PM Modi's visit to Lakshadweep, foreign affairs expert Abhijit Ayer Mitra says. Meanwhile, over at Times Now, the nuisance team spotted another OnlyFans subscriber of Shailen Chopra. Are we going to see you in Lakshadweep next month? Hey, Ram.
What do you think about those comments was the most offensive to you? Do you think that after the suspension of the uh, ministers now, the issue should settle or do you see this further escalating? Geopolitical expert Sherlyn Chopra said Times Now mein poochha ja raha hai ki bhai, how do you see this delicate situation turning out? Will it further escalate? After all, Sherlyn Chopra is known to appear on TV news debates with her very nuanced takes. Calm right, down. Whatever, whatever. Sure. Madam, open your eyes, open, open. When anchors weren't interviewing Sherlyn and Poonam, they were saying Indians have cancelled their Maldives ka trip. Indians are cancelling their vacation plans. Many people from India who were planning, as they have said, to go to Maldives have decided to cancel their trip. In the past 24 hours, thousands of Bharatians have made their Maldives ki yatra rat kar. 10,500 tickets have been cancelled. 8,000 hotel booking एक दिन में cancel हो गई. 2,500 flight ticket cancel हो गई. Now no one knows where these figures were coming from. The Mint even had an article that said 8,000 hotel bookings and 2,500 flight tickets to Maldives have reportedly been cancelled. People on Twitter asked Mint की भाई, what is the source of this data? And guess what Mint did? They removed that part from the article and added. that many indians claim to have cancelled their vacation to maldives so these are claims making it to indian news meanwhile the print actually spoke to the president of the indian association of tour operators and this is what he said there have been no cancellations of trips at the moment but the number of inquiries and new bookings have reduced so you see no one's cancelled a trip yet and i don't blame people because it's not just easy to cancel a flight you paid lakhs of rupees for and it's not even something we should be discussing the important issue here is the anti india sentiment in maldives on the back of which the current maldivian president came to power maldives gets its tourists from china russia and india after covid because of restrictions indian tourists became number one in maldives so yes we are a very important part of the maldivian economy but isme akkad dikhane wali koi baat nahi hai because india also needs maldives on its side given its location in the indian ocean and given the fact that china is sneakily trying to take control of that region you know what by the way americans account for the largest number of foreign tourists in india and america is three times larger than india but would you like it if they said hey tum hamare tukdon mein pal rahe ho tumhari haisiyat kya hai itne se desh ho what is this narrative even Yet this is the narrative we heard on TV news the moment PM tweeted his pics from Lakshadweep. अगर भारत चाले तो मालदीव की इकोनॉमी घुटनों पर आ जाएगी. एक और वाहियात नारेटिव है कि भाई अपने ही देश में घूमो. हाँ भाई अपना देश अच्छा है घूमो. Discover India, but discover the world too if you have the money. India also needs foreign tourists to come to us because it's important for our economy too. Look at where we are when it comes to attracting foreign tourists among other Asian countries. So yes. India needs foreign tourists like other countries need Indian tourists and India also needs domestic tourism and the Indian tourists should also feel proud about being a global traveler in a globalized world it doesn't always have to be us versus them it's just counterproductive to think like that rahi baat maldives ke junior ministers ki jinhone bakwas kari we can handle them through diplomatic channels like we did but we also need to protect and nurture a favorable neighborhood mainly because of maldives key location in the iors lines of sea communication so we have to be careful about responding to troll behavior by netizens or by junior ministers kyunki bhai motor mouth government representatives to india mein bhi hain you don't want to be boycotted because of them now do you itna sense manisha not fun let's listen to rss Gone are the days when Indians would silently suffer as they would be pushed around in immigration queues in much of the white world, or then when they were denied frills reserved for others by haughty stewards in cafes or on Firang Airlines. Frills reserved for others by haughty stewards. Itni English. Expressing moral outrage against injustice and inequality is the default mode of Indian democratic expression. Boycott Maldives continues that hoary tradition of imparting a moral lesson without disturbing the peace. Boycott Maldives continues that hoary tradition of imparting a moral lesson without disturbing the peace. A Twitter trend by right-wing trolls is a hoary tradition of imparting a moral lesson without disturbing peace. Normal people say Modi wants people 
to visit Lakshwadeep and RSS says this. The Prime Minister tweeting pictures of his Lakshwadeep break and urging Indians to visit the sun-kissed, palm-fringed paradise. RSS, I know you have said a lot of things, 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 a lot of things. But this doesn't mean that you don't have to put your fingers on your viewers. Liberals above all should know the power of consumer activism. Haven't they lustily championed the boycott of goods from countries that employ child labor? Haven't they lustily championed? Lustily championed. RSS. Thou should prattle in normal tones as thy wit is as dim as the evening sun. What I really mean to say is RSS speak in regular English because you're just sounding stupid. But what I really want to say is your oratory bears semblance to one engaged in the commercial trade of crispy chickpeas. What I truly want to say is, RSS, how much English you are, you are going to be a seller of your seller. What a joker man. Prime Minister Modi's decision to spend a morning on the powdery white sands of Lakshwadweep or then glide gracefully over its coral reefs. RSS, stop hiding behind the English language to obfuscate the fact that you are a shitty journalist and a total chumcha. Fancy language to hum bhi use kar sakte hain RSS, but tumhare jaise karare chane koi aur nahi bet sakta. Don't forget your USP. Speaking of shitty journalism, after outraging over Maldives, RSS did a strenuous show on Bilkis. Thank me, thank me for taking up the no, thank me. most discussed topic of ah, the day. According to Dr. Raman, do you find fault with any of my analysis? Go back, go back to my timeline on Twitter. Go back to my timeline on Twitter. Check my Twitter handle. I took a very obtuse view. I said it was very wrong to have released them and to have celebrated them. These are the words of Rahul Shiv Shankar. Bilkis Bano's rapist should please. have been given remission. Please, Dr. Please, Raman please, is a liar. Please, send him, send him the tweet. Please, send he can put it on his face and hang it around his neck tomorrow. Thank, thank me. Thank me. Bilkis Bano gets justice. And we should thank RSS for spending 17 minutes discussing it. Out of which he spent most of his time saying, Wah, wah, I'm so great. I showed you Bilkis on Bilkis. I am so great and his sidekick Anand Ranganathan reads out his tweets from one year ago to tell us what a women's rights champion RSS is. What a guy! That's the discussion we needed on Bilkis. Bakwas ki bhi had hoti hai. The Gujarat government had told the Supreme Court that the center cleared the release of the convicts in the Bilkis case. सेंटर में कौन है? आरएसएस और रंगा जैसे चाटू लोग मोदी गवर्नमेंट का मर तो बोल नहीं पाएंगे। All you'll get is stickers like Who's accountable? Who should be held accountable? That's all the nuisance we have for you this week. We'll be back next week. Until then, should thy appetite incline towards journalists of the bootlicking ilk, thou mayest attend upon Rahul's spectacle. Otherwise, lend thy patronage unto News Laundry. Glide gracefully. Not Modi, help independent journalism gleefully glide over the traversity that is corporate and state-sponsored TV news. Persist in thy ire indeed, for therein lies thy sole recourse. I mean, stay mad, that's the only way, yaar.